going on guys, Hayden here bringing you another tutorial and uh, this tutorial will be a tutorial that will most likely help the 2D designers in this community. Um, I guess you could use it for 3D but you don't really use it very often but uh, this tutorial, tutorial is going to be on uh, layer styles. So basically if you don't know what a layer style is, if you, uh, if you look at this Zeb's Arts here, it doesn't it's not like a basic like if I just put some mo text because I I added glow I made it look kind of 3d kind of like that look but using all of these which I'm going to show you how you can make some layer styles but before we start I'd like to explain uh, why you have been seeing well if you've been like checking up on designs Academy for videos here and here here and there you're gonna notice that we've been changing the banner and thumbnails a lot. Uh, that's because there's four of us, so it's kind of hard getting something that we can all agree on. But I'd say what with what we have now, we can all agree that we all like the things we have, like the new thumbnail on this video and the new banner. Now, I'm 80% sure this is what it's gonna be on from now on, but that 20% is still there, so don't get attached to it I guess but anyway let's get started so I'm just gonna go here and to get a layer style you're gonna get some mo text obviously and I'm gonna make it like 50 maybe like 30 so you guys could see it a little easier so we're gonna put I'm gonna name it Zebs you can name it whatever you want I mean it doesn't really matter and uh, I'm gonna make it white so just like that white okay so we got some regular text you know nothing too fancy just regular white text uh by the way if you want to know what font i'm using i'm using typograph pro you can download it pretty much anywhere but if you don't know a site you could go, you could go to dafont.com um so let's get started so a layer style is usually everything in this fx fold fx selection here because you're going to notice a whole bunch of these settings now you could click a random one I'm just gonna do gradient overlay and it's gonna open up this menu now if you're new to Photoshop you've probably clicked that before gone into this and you're a little confused on what all of this stuff is so I'm, I'm gonna go through an overview on each little one of what it do of what it does so from the bottom drop shadow it's kind of self-explanatory it's a drop shadow now when I click this check, a whole bunch of settings for it's going to come up, and you're going to notice a difference on the Zebs as if it's a drop shadow. So, um, I usually you could do this, but I mean it kind of looks a little weird. So it's always good to set the size like you don't want to have it completely blurry, but you don't want to have it like that. So basically, what you could set it to is something around the lines of 16, uh, 16 to 8 is a good little area to put your your shadow and then spread and distance um, distance is basically like how close the shadow is or how far the shadow is so I'm just gonna have it about right there and it gives it a nice little shadow look as you can see and uh, spread I mean kinda makes it thicker a little bit it's kinda hard to explain but I really I usually don't mess with that so let's drop shadow. Now let me go over outer glow. Now as you can see, it's self-explanatory. It's an outer glow. And uh, this, I believe, is the default color. I'm not sure, but usually for outer glow, you could set it like this, but it kind of looks weird, not very good. So you could set the size down a little bit like this, but it kind of has a blur effect. Now, since I'm using white text, I'm just going to quickly change uh, this, but... Well, I just figured out you could make an outline like this without a glow, just get the same color as the background. Boom, there you go. But anyway, I'm going to set this to black so then you can see the outer glow a little bit better. So, for outer glow, depending on what your color is, like if you have a white mo text, you might want to do like a gray or something or not even use outer glow. Um, but let's say you have some black mo text and you decide to use outer glow, you could set it to white or I guess any color of what banner but I'm just gonna use white as an example but you can make it really thin like this to make it have like an outline you can edit the spread a little bit to make it thicker or if you make the size a little bigger 
that the spread basically that the spread is the transparency so if I turn the spread down you're gonna notice that it's like not too sharp it's just kind of like a little soft brush but if I put it up all the way it's as if I got a hard brush and I outlined it so keep that in mind you could use both of these to your advantage so like that but that is the outer glow for you uh, pattern overlay self-explanatory now for patterns I think all you're gonna have are these patterns right here if I'm right it might just be these three four maybe five I'm not sure but anyway you could download patterns uh, I can't remember what patterns I got from here I think it's multiple patterns but you can let's just say I decide to use this I can go blending mode overlay well maybe not overlay wide but you can like edit the blending modes soft light which it's kind of weird sometimes it works well I guess it also depends on what color your mode text is your what the texture is but I guess it doesn't really work too well on this texture but anyway I'm just gonna go normal but that's that you can change the opacity make it a little less and then I'm going to go into gradient overlay. Now, gradient overlay for making a nice layer style is very important. Well, I guess it's not very, very important, but I mean, for a good layer style, you usually use gradient overlays. Now, if you don't know what a gradient is, if you notice that the top of the Zebs is white and the bottom is the black. Now, if I open, like, just click this once, you're going to notice that this little bar here, and then there's some presets here for you so you can pick from so something like this uh, you can download presets also so I mean I usually don't need to usually because I make my own but um, but I'm just gonna show you a nice little preset of what you could do so I'm just gonna make this like a gray like a, a lightish gray and then make this a lighter gray and then basically what you could do is you could bring the opacity up uh, where's it at? Scale? Wait, what? Where'd it go? Blending, wait. Well, anyway. Oh, okay, that's right. Whoops. So, opacity is how you can edit it. So, here, let me do it more of a. Let's just do this. Something basic. Not very good looking, but I mean, it'll get, show you what it means. So, lower opacity. The lower the opacity, the more the white it is, obviously, because the regular color is white, but if I, like, bring it up a bit, since I made this gray and this red, top is going to be that gray and the red is going to be lighter, since the opacity is not all the way up. Now, if you wanted to add, like, a middle color, you could just, like, double-click here, and then it's going to have one in the middle, and you could, like, let's make that, like, a blue or something, I don't know. And then... Maybe let's say I want to have more blue than red, like something like this. Then there's going to be a little tint of red, some blue, and then that gray. Now let's say if I wanted to add more gray, I just got to move this to the left a little bit more. But that's how the gradient works. It's a little basic overview. You could also blend it, which I don't really understand why there's blending on that. Usually doesn't work. Color overlay, self explanatory. Uh, pick a color, you know change the opacity to like let's say you know get a purple like a pinkish color change the opacity you know self-explanatory satin um i haven't really worked with this one that much but from what i could tell it kind of had you can make a uh, a nice chrome look with it, this i know i've seen people make chromes with satin but I usually don't really use it that much, so I mean, I can't really tell you much about it. You're just going to have to experiment with it. I mean, you could make some cool things with it, like something like that maybe, but that's that. Uh, inner Glow, self-explanatory. Let me just uh, show you a cool little example of what you could do with Inner Glow. So, let me uncheck this. Let me get a color overlay. Let's do like uh, a blue. We'll get like a blue like this. So, with an inner glow what you could do is uh that's an inner glow i mean it's basically exactly like an outer glow but inner so a cool little thing you could do with an inner glow is uh since i have this blue as like a 
ocean blue what you could do is you could get that blue but make it lighter so then it has like a lighter outline and then you could bring that down a little bit and it has a cool little effect uh, I mean you just gotta experiment with it it might not look as good since the Zebs is so big but like if you have smaller stuff that can look very cool or if like you do stuff with this which I'll show you in a second um, so that's the inner glow, inner shadow, self-explanatory, same as the drop shadow except it's inner. Uh, you could, the inner shadow is like an illusion to make it seem like the Zebs is like, like cut out of the uh, page. Kind of cool. Uh, I really don't use it much, but I don't really have a use for it, but other people could. So there's that, I mean self-explanatory. Contour. I forgot to explain it's kind of weird I mean I guess you wouldn't really use it that much for this but I might go into detail with that later so stroke uh, stroke is pretty it's basically like an outline you could do I use this for a lot of my things you could change the color opacity position you can make it inside uh, and center stuff like that I'll just keep it on the outside but that's stroke and then there's this which it's kind of weird to use but you can make you can make cool things with this but you can also ruin a layer style with this so basically this kind of like gives it a 3d ish kind of look well not a 3d but like kind of like a it's hard to explain what it is but I'll show you in a second so we'll change the depth up a little size it there, soften, oops, depth, bring that up a little bit, and then see, that'll work, so, actually, let me, so as you can see, it kind of has that little 3D look to it, kind of, it's kind of hard to explain what this is, There's a, there is a name for this, but, it's not in the top of my head right now so for bevel you could click contour contour however you pronounce that uh, this it's kinda like uh, you can make chrome with this too uh, I've made chrome a couple times with this I can't really remember how but you could do something like this which is kinda like well you could see it's I don't know what this is called but you can experiment with this to make it look nice uh, texture, self-explanatory, you could texture it, say, so, but instead of color, it's just the 3D texture, so like, something like that, you know, you, you can see, you could edit the scale, like, basically, how big it is, and then depth, how much, how, like, like, how zoomed in it is, but that's basically all these things, so I'm gonna show you how you can make a nice looking layer style so I'm thinking probably a gray one will make so we're gonna go to our gradient overlay and we're gonna open this up and for the red I'm just gonna make it a dark gray we're gonna make this a darker gray as well so something like this and I'm gonna bring the opacity up to around something like this okay and then what you want to do next is Go to your drop shadow, uh, have it at 13, 0, 16. Keep the, this at black and the opacity at 75. Just pause the video and you could copy these settings if you want. So now, now well, once we've done that, we're going to go get our stroke. And we're going to make it 1. And with this, we're going to make it white, just pure white. That kind of gives it a cool little outline look. And uh, we're not done there. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our inner glow right here and we're going to make this white too now the reason I chose white is because white looks really good with gray like as you can see and then um, once we've done that pretty much be that now we're going to get this and we're just going to kind of edit it a little bit something about 13 yeah something like that I like that and then we might bring up the stroke to two actually yeah it's two okay so here's a layer style basic layer style that 
I sometimes use, it's a nice little layer style you can use on banners or like something like this. Um, so for this, uh, that's pretty straightforward. You can also do this with like, you know, change the gradients and then just change the inner glow to something lighter and then that's how you can change it. But uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Uh, if you want different layer style tutorials, more advanced ones, just leave it in the comment section below. And also, um, this video, so when it goes up, put a question down below that you want us to answer because for 2,000 subscribers, we're going to do a QA and a and we, we're getting questions from people. Now we already have a decent amount, but we still want more to make the video long enough where it's still enjoyable. So. Put your questions down below in the comment section if you haven't already asked a question. It will most likely be used if it's a decent question, not a, a, a stupid question that no normal person wouldn't answer. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, peace, guys. I am out.